Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, a special day, an important day for Australian rugby, the launch of the International Rugby Academy Australia. Would you please put your hands together for David Mortimer. Thank you very much, Nick. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, my task is uh, uh, very easy and quick, and that is to welcome you all again, uh, and particularly Michael, who's come all the way from the UK uh, to uh, uh, head up uh, our, uh, fa uh, our faculty as... Uh, as uh, our patron. Uh, we're very honoured to have such distinguished ex-players uh, and current players that are here with us today and also uh, the importance of uh, the women's uh, role in rugby going forward uh, is acknowledged by uh, Emily Chancellor and uh, Georgia Gray who both are with us today too. So thank you all very much for joining us. On behalf of Investec we are very excited to join uh, you and the entire International Rugby Academy of Australia team as major sponsor for this new initiative. Our passion for rugby runs deep. We are title sponsors of the Investec Super Rugby and Investec Rugby Championship tournaments, games played in New Zealand, and are going into our 10th year of this sponsorship next year. IRANS itself, the reason I set it up was how are we going to compete? And, you know, the International Rugby Academy is our national academy, but I called it International Rugby Academy because knowledge isn't exclusive, and I thought there's a lot of knowledge out there we have to pull in. I'd like to think that rugby develops certain characters that allow you to, to work with other people. I mean, that's the hallmark of the game, isn't it? There's 15 players, and we all have to work together, and if we don't, we're not going to be successful. It's as simple as that. So I do believe, and there's no... I don't think there's any hesitation at all uh, if it was the right feel, and, and the two Davids and Tim certainly gave me the right feel that this is a good idea. And the response I've had from uh, the former Wallabies that I've telephoned in the last few weeks has been remarkable. It's almost as though the timing is, is perfect for this entrance. So now we can look towards New Zealand and say Murray set up this um, wonderful uh, academy over there and it's got a track record. It's not something straight out of the box, it's a track record that's been going for, as Murray mentioned, 20 years. And we can tap into that. We need to. Um, because when, we, when I've been asked in the past, you know, why has Australian rugby been so successful in the, in, the, in the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s? It was because we're really good at identifying talent at a young age. But even better than that, we were good at nurturing that talent along the way. And that talent then came through into clubs once they left school, et cetera, into states and then Australia. And for various reasons, we've probably um, neglected that a little bit over the last uh, decade or so. Um, that's not to say that talent's not there, because you look at the under 20s uh, earlier this year in Argentina doing so well over there, the Australian schools team beating New Zealand recently, there is talent there but we've got to find more of it. It's not about peaking every four years, it's about bringing depth through, it's about, um, you know, sort of just inspiring these young people, um, ladies and, and guys, to, to reach their potential. And, and Murray, I congratulate you. You've, you've banged your head a, against many walls over here, but um, through, the, through the insight and wisdom of, of the two Davids, um, you've finally cracked it. And, you know, I know they'll get great support because all the guys in the front row here have, have been a part of the academies and doing the one-on-ones and, you know, it is really special. It's not just the young players, Nick. It's about developing the coaches and that's what IRANS has done so well over 20 years. I think one of the, the great offers of the academy is it offers both breadth and depth. You get exposure in that three weeks, and I've been over there for a few of the courses in New Zealand, you get a great exposure across the, the breadth of what rugby can offer, or the breadth of skills you need to look at. But at the same time, you get this incredible depth from individual coaches. I think the point that probably hasn't been made is, is actually it's a two-way street as well. The coaches, and a lot of us, you know, since we finished playing, haven't got into coaching, haven't had necessarily an interest in going into coaching, but it's a way of getting you back into the game and thinking differently about the game and a, a, and a way of you being able to share your skills. So I think what's really important is it, it actually becomes very much this two-way journey. 
My, my first coaching gig was actually coaching my daughter's uh, under 14 sevens team. And if there are two things I know nothing about, it's women and sevens. And uh, so that was a real eye opener to see that. Uh, to see that. But, but what I did notice was the ability, the athletic ability of these girls, which was, which was just incredible. And uh, at such a young, young age. But to then go to the next level and get this, put the skills on top of it, which is, you know, not only the mental skills, but the, but the actual passing, catching, kicking skills was really the key. I don't have kicking skills, so I can't teach them that. But when you go to IRA or IRANS, that's when you're getting those things. Well, it's, it's a fantastic vehicle. And I don't just mean for, for old guys and even older guys like Kernsey. Um, <laughs> It's not just a vehicle for them to get together outside of the normal environment of the Sydney rugby lunch where you're just eating and drinking and trotting out the same old stories. So it's, it's a great opportunity for, for guys to get together who may not actually have thought about coaching um, and, and pass on some of their experience without having to sort of formulate it into a, into a team, you know, a whole season, a whole year long kind of effort. I think really important that the rugby community within Australia embraces this idea of something a little bit different, Murray, you know, we've, I mean, a different life, tried to go down a path to do some work along those lines, and it's just fantastic to see so many of the rugby community here and wanting to be involved, so I think from all of the past players, from everybody involved, we certainly wish um, the concept the absolute best. I look at my journey and go, well, I only thought about rugby as an opportunity when I was at university, and to, to, to know that there are girls playing now junior level and to see a clear pathway with opportunity to be able to grow through and develop from junior through to academy to state-based and then hopefully through to Wallaroos is, is really exciting. When you look at you know, the, the, the whole precinct out at uh, what is Olympic Park there, it's quite incredible. And, and you know, we're out there for y your own children now. It's a generation now going through, isn't it? And you're watching them doing athletics and, and playing rugby. My daughter's playing rugby at the moment. They're in, she's in the system and then to be exposed uh, like something like this is, is quite incredible. And you've got to have the facilities to, to back it up. And we saw on the, on the, on the picture before with, with Murray's Place over New Zealand, it looks fantastic. And if they can emulate or replicate something like that, and obviously using the facilities out there with Accor and the, and the hotel chain, uh, how good? I mean, as, as a young bloke, we used to get billeted out. You know, that was the, <laughs> that was the old days of when you're, when you're touring. People who mightn't get an opportunity to get exposure to this level of coaching is a really unique opportunity and something IRA will really, uh, I think, uh, dive into and, and really uh, provide that fantastic growth opportunity for someone who potentially uh, gets missed through traditional means of uh, identifying talent. So really looking forward to seeing those types of players coming through, men and women.